Polyrhythm time. Alright, barely getting away with that one. What I was doing was I was um, laying uh, subdivisions onto four beats. So we've got our main four beats of uh, one, two, three, four quarter notes. And um, I took my uh, cue here from the, the Unreal book, uh, the rhythm scale over four beats, if you're familiar with that. Um, the problem with that uh, book, unfortunately, is it, it, or that page, is it doesn't show you where the actual four beats beats are so it would it does show you you know it does ask you to play five beats but it doesn't show you where the corresponding four quarter notes are so when you're trying to go from five to six to seven it's um you're kind of on your own there actually i think there's an audio cd um which probably has the uh you know lays out the, that example but um that's really key when you're working out polyrhythms like this is to know to be able to hear where both um well b where both uh, cycles actually um, uh, the specific times where they're they're landing each of those beats uh, within the bar. So um, let's go really fast, go through this really fast. What I played, I actually played uh, uh, quarter notes with my left foot at 60 beats a minute. You could hear the click in there as well, um, and I tapped out on the rim um, just these uh, these subdivisions. I played um, one whole note. And then two half notes, so that's that's two over four. Then I play three half note triplets, so that's three over four. Four quarters, five over four. I don't know why it wouldn't be five eighth notes, but um, anyway, in the Unreal book, it's five over four. Um, six over four. That's um, this is a very common subdivision of um, quarter note triplets. Seven over four. Eight over four. That's just eight eighth notes. Another very common one. Uh, nine over four. Ten over four. Eleven over four. 1204, this guy's super common. These are um, eighth notes, or sorry, eighth note triplets. Each one of these could be thought of as a, tw a twelfth note, actually. Um, Twelve, then 13 over four, 14 over four, 15 over four, and our very common 16th notes. So, um, just taking it a step further into, um, into uh, breaking the stuff down, um, I guess basically what it comes down to is you need to decide what uh, time signature you're going to be in because if you're not careful you can end up um, in uh, like in a, in a bar of 5-4 instead of 4-4 four, four, for example so if you want to be in 4-4 four, four, but you want to hear how 5 um, lays on top of 4 then what you have to do is um, is write out just this is not going to go where did I put that um, let me think here. Five, was it five quintuplets? Um, yeah, you have to do quintuplets, five sets of quintuplets. Oh, sorry, four sets of quintuplets. So that's one, two, three, four. So we got four quarter notes in here, and we're dividing each quarter note into five. And then from there, you count uh, five beats to to hear your um, to hear how your five goes against the four. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, am I doing this right? One second. One, two, three, four. There's our four, four. Um, what did I do here? 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's our five. One, two, three, four, five against four. One, two, three, four. Whew. Okay. Um, if you want to hear how four fits across five, then you have to do um, five sets of, of four sixteenths, like I've done here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then you count five sixteenths at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, like that, so that you hear your four over your five. One, two, three, four, five. And you apply the same stuff to um, different subdivisions like, uh, let's see here, seven. Here's seven four, so that's seven quarters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and here are your four beats. This is one, two, E, and a three, four, and five, six, E, and a seven. But this is not the same as hearing seven over four. <laughs> For seven over four, um, you have to, um, I've done this already, so not uh, taking too much time. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So you have to do four sets of septuplets. So you divide each quarter note, one, two, three, four, into seven, and then you count uh, four sixteenths at a time to give you your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is really the tip of the iceberg and it's awesome, amazing, amazing stuff. Um, check out Steve Vai's site if you're uh, getting deeper into this stuff. Um, Little Black Dots, I believe it's called. Um, check out Zappa's music where there's polyrhythms inside polyrhythms inside polyrhythms and it just gets mind-bending and so fun. Uh, and make yourself adaptable to um, these problems, and you'll learn them a lot easier than if, than uh, if you, you know, if you just wrestle, wrestle with it nonstop. Just take a light approach to it. It's a math that needs to be figured out first, and then uh, obviously bring it into your playing and do something musical with it. Good luck. Have fun.